What is going on y'all? This is SK13. Welcome back to the channel. If you saw last week's video, you'll know that I mentioned that at ECMA, Aprilia revealed a whole bunch of new bikes, uh, of which there was the RS660 Extrema, different colorways of the RX660, but as we all know, for Aprilia, it's the RSV4 that is their, you know, flagship model. And at ECMA, they unveiled something called the RSV4 X Trenta. It is a limited edition. There's only going to be 100 made. And it is track only. So it's a race bike, fully dedicated. You can't ride it on the street or anything like that. And yeah, they made a really awesome trailer. So I'll go ahead and play that for you now. All right, what did you guys think about that? I think that bike looks insane, like absolutely insane. The name is interesting. The X comes from back in 2019 when Aprilia released their X models. So the Tuono X and then the RSV4X. And then the Trenta is basically stands for three decades. So 30 years, the Aprilia is celebrating 30 years of their dedication to racing. So the name aside, this new RSV4 X Trenta has really a lot to offer. They went all out, and as you can tell from the design, they have like that newly uh, redesigned or newly designed front wing. They have the rear wings on the tail, and if you were able to catch it in the trailer, they actually have this lower wing is you know what they call the spoon or underwing. And this is going to be the first bike or motorcycle that has this in its production. And this underwing is for aerodynamics. Per Aprilia, they claim that it reduces drag by 4% and then increases aerodynamic load by 25%. So, yeah, it is what it is. It looks interesting. Um, looks wise, I'm not sure you know, how I really feel about it. I definitely have to see it in person, you know, before I have an opinion, but it is nice to see that they're kind of pushing the envelope in terms of, you know, development and improvement and innovation in general. In terms of price, this is going to cost 50,000 euros based on, you know, conversion rates today. It'll be about $54,000. And Aprilia will also be providing, you know, owners of this bike a floor mat. So, that being said, it comes with the floor mat. It's $50,000, you know, essentially $50,000 bike. And it's track only. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys feel that whoever is buying this bike is actually going to be tracking this thing? Or do you feel like because Aprilia is including that floor mat that they suspect most owners of this bike will likely have this as a showpiece? I'm really leaning towards the latter. If you have $50,000 to shovel out for a bike like this that's track only, first off, who actually is able to actually, you know, 
exploit and use all that power that this bike offers. That number in itself is going to be small and this bike is already limited. So yeah, I'm leaning towards people are likely going to be keeping this bike as a dedicated show bike. But we'll see. We'll see if we ever see one at the track somewhere someday. And yeah. As I mentioned in my last video, I said that looking at this bike, it made me wish or maybe excited that perhaps some of this technology would be trickled down into, say, the Aprilia RS660 model. Granted, you know, if you look at everything that they've done to this X Trenta model, it's very high performance oriented. Does a bike like the RS660 actually need all this stuff? From everything from like the aerodynamics, from that really cool front wind splitter, or to that rear, you know, underwing, this new underwing that it has. Does the RS660 platform really need all that stuff? Probably not. It's not gonna be able to take advantage of it, given that it's only 100 horsepower versus this thing, which is 230 horsepower. But the reason why it makes me excited is that Aprilia seems like it is definitely pushing the boundaries. Uh, they're innovating and adding this new stuff and that in a whole is just good for the brand in my opinion because as we go further and further as they continue to push the envelope it's only a matter matter of time before this technology will be trickling down into the lower cc bikes that they do have to offer meaning that people will be able to enjoy some of these features at a lower price point and also at the point where the power that the bike that they're buying at those lower price points is manageable, it's rideable, things are usable. If that didn't confuse you, long story short, innovation is always great. It's great to see Aprilia as a brand pushing the envelope and it just makes me excited that you know there are going to be changes coming for not just the RSV4 but hopefully all of their production bikes down the road. Maybe not anytime soon since, you know, this stuff does take time, but sometime in the future. Side note though, the colorway that they chose for the X-Trenta is pretty similar to the RX660 Tribute colorway that I talked about in my last video. For the Tribute, and like, as I said in my last video, it, it didn't really appeal that much to me because I felt like they slapped all the colors together. But looking at that and looking at the X Trenta, it, it's kind of grown on me for some reason. Maybe for the X Trenta because the red kind of extends all the way towards the back on the underbelly part and you know towards the tail and then the purple or the deep blue purple whatever it is the violet extends more to the front and then possibly also the graphics that they're using on the X Trenta just make things pop and fit a little bit more it just it just looks more extreme and it looks fitting in that sense so yeah i don't know it's growing on me anyways well that's all i want to talk to you guys about today i'm just very excited for what aprilia is doing and as always guys thumbs if you enjoyed it subs if you loved it and i will catch y'all in the next one peace